Okay, so here I'm going to be looking very briefly at Portrait Pro 15. It's an image processing program that uh, takes pictures of people, identifies the faces, and lets you tinker with them to uh, remove imperfections or make them look more glamorous. Here I've brought in a picture which I took many years ago. I used to be a photographer back in the 1980s. This was a pop star, uh, Lloyd Cole. And so I brought his picture in to the program. It asks me to identify, is it male or female, girl, boy or adult? So I'm going to select male adult. It identifies the essential features of his face here. And so I can now just make some sm small changes. The shape isn't quite right. So I just pull these around here. And maybe the eyebrow as well. That's sufficient to get me started. You can see it's applied a few subtle changes to the image on the right, the originals on the left. Um, you could, if I click this button, you can see what changes it's made. So it's changed the shape of the face slightly and some of the tonal elements, the quality of the colors and so on. Maybe that's not quite glamorous enough. I mean, this is a pop star, so I need him to look a bit more glamorous. So I can, I can pick some presets from up here. So I'll go down to some of the male presets. Um, sculpt, well, that changes the shape of the face quite a lot. I, I don't really want that much, so I put no sculpt. No, still not quite right. Male glamorous, let's try that. Okay, so that's got rid of some of the slight imperfections of the skin tone and so on, but I mean, this this picture, I really want to be super glamorous. I'm going to take a really rather exceptional uh, approach to this and select female glamorous. And let's see what that makes, what difference that makes. Well, you can see it's really made substantial changes. So even this, though this is a male portrait, it's smoothed out the skin. It's got rid of, you know, the little gradations of the pores and, and so on. And for a, a sort of a, a pop star shot, that might be within the limits of the acceptable. But it's made quite a few changes. If you look at the flip default before, you can see it's really changed some of the positioning of the ele face elements, the shadows around the eyes have been enhanced, the smoothness of the skin has been greatly enhanced. And I can even now go on to make more uh, changes still. So if I wanted to lighten the skin, give me some advice here on how to do that. Um, or what else can I do? I can even add makeup. I mean, again, you know, this is a, a male picture, but when you say I decided that I, I really want to add a bit more color so I can add some blusher. And uh, let's put a bit, you can see it's sort of, that's a bit too much. The, 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 the cheeks are now a bit too rosy looking, but nevertheless, I can make very subtle adjustments. And um, what else shall I do? Uh, lipstick, well, again, you know, I don't make him look too uh, made up, but I could just highlight the lips a bit, and so on. So once I'm ready with, uh, once I'm satisfied with the results, I can save it to disk. It's a fine line between overdoing this. Uh, I mean, at the moment, I think Lloyd Cole has been changed a bit too much uh, for uh, an, an acceptable result. It looks a bit, a bit overdone. But I can easily revert to the original image and make changes again to something perhaps uh, a bit more subtle. And when I'm happy, I just save the results.